everyone, Cody here. As you can see, I'm out in front of the technology building over by Pump House One at the USU campus. And uh, today some of my friends are going to be doing a test with a hybrid rocket that they've built. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some footage of that and perhaps some pointers for uh, when I'm building my own rocket. So, this should be interesting. Let's go have and take a look. They're uh, actually going to be doing the test over here inside of this uh, uh, wind tunnel-like building there. I think, I think you know, we should have enough in the tanks right now to survive two seconds. Oh yeah. Probably be all probably four. Is, so. I mean, we could survive probably full throttle, maybe five or six seconds. So we should have enough in the tanks that we can stop filling any time now. You're at about 1,800 now, tank pressure. Cut it off now. Pretty sure we have 19. Okay, when you hear uh, hissing, that's <laughs> Just a hunting. Nothing bad. We don't have a kill switch for the spark, but the spark, just, the spark just keep going. No, it, the spark it, is designed to shut itself off. Okay. After. Just in case, like there's a residual voltage somewhere. Yeah, it is. So we are we're using a separate analog out signal for this one because it, it should be fine. We don't. Yeah. I don't care about a little latency on it. So. Okay. So before I arm, I want to check your VI. Okay. You get like all those buffers, like you have the one number and it's like... Yeah. Alright, camera's running. Thing is armed. Okay. okay. Right. You have the seconds. camera pointing at the right spot and we want to turn off the lights on this side because the camera was... I think we're okay because... Okay. As long as the camera... I actually think it helps because the camera's already closing its aperture and okay. um, starting to, so once it burns it doesn't have to... Cha chamber anymore. pressure limits at 600. That should be safe, right? Because yes. we're looking at it. 450 <laughs> in most. Just, yeah. just to have it. If you stand right here and see this mirror, you can also see the um, aft end of the nozzle. Hot fire, two seconds. Half throttle. Okay, I'll be emergency valve closer <laughs> operator. <laughs> I'm, I'm here on the abort too. So, All right. okay. here we go, running. You ready? Here we go. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Nice. Beautiful. Bright. <laughs> little bit of residual flame. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> you want to go check it? Woo! All right, I'm going to go... That was a bright one. Disarm. For half throttle. Video. Woo! Well, well, that looked thrusting. really uh, oxidizer rich. It's uh, here. Kind of thrusting. Almost, almost 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. Right, we're just doing that. No, but right now we're just like, can this thing burn and will it not that's why Zach had a lot ruin of anything? That's why Zach had a lot of problems here now. Yeah. It's funny to think we're dumping a half a pound of oxygen this thing. <laughs> half a pound of oxygen. So, two seconds is a full pound. Tank pressure is about 1500 about that stage. That should be good. Hot fire, two seconds. Full throttle. Do it. Right. Running. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Yeah. What a I monster. Didn't even look at it. Felt <laughs> <laughs> the ground shake. Look at that thing. Oh. Uh, smoke and that phenol smokes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chamber pressure doubled. <laughs> yep. Okay. We're at we're at like four hundred. Wow. Awesome. It's a little under, but. Look, classic hybrid. <laughs> so look at this. Yeah, definitely charred it. It's just a little bit warm. Did you ever get the temperature done? Yeah. Is this your temperature probe here? Uh, yeah. One out. One out. Okay. When we get the real testing, that'll be fixed on there. So you're just going to push down? Okay, and you just, just hold on to that. I mean, it's probably not going to do anything, but... Alright. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Came out. Alright, so... That is... City. Well, but you can see that you didn't, go, you didn't actually blow by, though. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. So the yeah, oxygen pretty good. Oxygen comes out that middle hole then? Yep. Okay. 
Th those two are our uh, sparks. Bad, those are spark? Yeah, that, that's the two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's the pressure port. All right. So that's like for measuring the pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's still warm. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so that's the nozzle, the graphite. And yeah, the Well, guys, I think it's all right. Well, is this this is graphite here? That is the has to feel ABS. Oh, so this is actually the plastic. Yeah, it just looks like graphite pretty pretty now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys like the rocket. Uh, they're going to be putting this on a glider of some sort. I don't think I filmed anything that is classified because the actual motor and everything is non-proprietary. If it is, I'll be happy to take down the video. I'd like to stress that I didn't actually make the rocket in any way. I was just there for the test fire. I basically only helped them push the rig into the test chamber and uh, watched. Uh, they give me lots of pointers on uh, how to build my own rocket, which I'm very grateful for. I know some people will probably thumbs down this video because it's not my rocket, but I will be building one soon, no worry. But I guess I'll go ahead and leave you with a compilation of the rockets that I have actually built. I'll see you next time.